was like, what is that? Look like a fox or a wolf. Need to get out of here. There we go feel a little more comfortable out in the open and exposed where if anything kills me it'll at least be easy to find my stuff again oh that's why I couldn't sleep before the sense is in the game wolves are in the resin let's see let's not starve too much shall we So north of that mountain, or possibly up on the top of that mountain, it's where the wild mushrooms grow. I never go there often. There's lots of bears, sometimes more wolves. share my haul with everybody I keep the flax seeds any other seed is fair game Ooh, that's right now I have Terra Preta There's some sand. Whoops. On top of the mountain looks like a good place for a home. So, I'm still imagining it in my mind, but kind of want like an observatory up there like we build into the mountains and like carve out like a little lookout that gazes over the village we'll be about 10 to 15 uh, colder up there yeah that's pretty much what I expect but could be a lovely summer home. What am I doing? It's too dark to go super far. Maybe I should finish working out this beehive area. So I don't think bees need an enclosed area necessarily. Right? Like you can have an exposed roof and it'll be just fine. I 
Like part of me wants to try and make them a little greenhouse, but greenhouses have to be seven by seven. Which means you could only put like one bee in there or one optimal bee. I think if you make a candle with two clear quartz crystals and a copper plate, you would have a lantern that never goes out. Yeah. We'll get there, but... Let's see. I don't want to make candles, because... I like to use the wax to... to seal pots. I don't know. We can... we can worry about them after we get the, uh... the bees going. Because once the bees go, then we've got, like, our infinite supply of wax. What am I doing? Oh yes, I'm I'm eating. I also don't like how this looks. Like, I thought the gap was cool for a little bit, but now it just bothers me. Yeah, upside down stairs would look good. In fact, upside down stairs would probably look way better than what I'm trying to do. Good call. Oh, let's close the door. Don't want any rabbits up here. Actually, that looks really good. I thought I messed up for a second there, but it's not what I intended, but it looks better. I think I took three down. Three more. See, now this looks bad. It doesn't have to. Alright, four more. One, two, three, four. Way better. admire it a little bit. Uh, what do we do now? So stop hauling around this valuable Terra Preta. Building this thing out a little more. It's 
kind of crowd the edge. I could replace these with half slabs. I would need more chalk stone. Or I could actually keep the pattern that's going on with this guy. <coughs> Excuse me. We can do granite half slabs all the way around. Yeah, I like that. You have a you have a greenhouse for bees. Four tables in the center could work. But from the the wiki, it seemed like optimal placement was like two empty blocks filled with flowers on either side. Which gives you like one, two, three, four, five. Uh, and you could reuse the empty flower blocks for another bee over here. So two more over there, which and two more on the other side. So on the inside, eight by eight was like supposed to be the optimal build. And I heard greenhouses have to be seven by seven. Yeah, production in winter uh, is 100% the problem. I guess I don't have to have an optimal greenhouse. Because we could do like this and have like tables where these water spots are. And that would be decent honey production. But it wouldn't be like optimal, but at the same time it would work in winter. I'm I'm torn. We'll figure it out. But right now, I think I want to build a Jillian granite half slabs. For my bee habitat. Those do have to be kind of sealed up, don't they? Uh, here we go. For the rest of these, what about you? You need to be sealed up too. Yeah, you do. Now with the granite. Just a moment. The wind noises in the game are actively giving me like a little bit of a chill. Like I know it's not actually cold where I am.
This game keeps making noises that make me feel like I'm cold. Perfect. little chalk pillars in the corner. Here's my little bee habitat. Oh right, that looks really gross. Much better. But it could be worse. this terra preta out of here because really it belongs in the greenhouse and not my rooftop garden as much as I'd like to there's the resin there's the resin full liter of resin. Nice. Alright, sun's starting to come up. Let's get something to eat. And then we will go... We'll go hunt for bees again. This time to, this, uh, to the north.
I'll take one for the road. Look at my windmill. Doing its best. So I feel like I, I'm in in the thick of the game now. Like we got to the point where it doesn't feel all that difficult to survive, and we're just building things that are cool, like quality of life improvements. Like there's still a bit of a survival aspect to it, but now it's more. Like building the infrastructure. Like, once you get bees and enough gardens going, like, and you're probably not going to die, and you, like, finish up your smith. Sorry. Uh, I was distracted by a giant bear. It is a sort of end game, but it requires plate armor. Yeah, I heard something about like boss battles. Uh, Moosh started mining down under our base, like Minecraft style, and said he found something spooky down there. I haven't spoiled anything for my for myself as far as like drifters are concerned. I think these mushrooms are good too, I can't remember. Yeah. Keep your ears peeled for bees. They're around here somewhere. Looks like another bear. <laughs> <laughs> 